Nano Banana Pro just dropped, and it's changing everything you know about AI generation. If you've been trying to create consistent AI characters, you know the struggle. You generate one decent image, then try to make variations, and suddenly your character looks completely different in every single shot. Different face, different proportions, just a mess of images that are all close enough but never actually consistent. Nano Banana Pro solves this by understanding reference images at a much deeper level. It doesn't just copy what it sees, it actually learns the structure of faces, proportions, and features. That means when you give it a reference image, it can recreate that same person from completely different angles while keeping everything consistent. The platform I'm using to access Nano Banana Pro is OpenArt. OpenArt is an all-in-one AI platform that gives you access to dozens of image and video models, character creation tools, and editing features all in one subscription. The reason I'm using OpenArt instead of going directly through Google is because OpenArt doesn't add watermarks to your images. Plus, it has built-in character training tools that work perfectly with Nano Banana Pro. And I'm about to show you exactly how to use it to create characters that look identical across unlimited generations. By the way, if you want to follow along, I'll leave a link for OpenArt in the description below. I've spent the last few weeks testing every method possible to create consistent characters, and what I'm about to show you is the most reliable workflow I've found. We're going to walk through the complete process, from generating your first character image all the way to training a reusable model that maintains perfect consistency no matter what scene you put them in. The key is combining Nano Banana Pro with OpenArt's character training system. That's the workflow we're building today. Let's start by creating what I call the foundation image. This is the single most important image in your entire character library because everything else builds from it. Head into OpenArt and click on image on the left side. Once you're in the image generation workflow, click the switch button at the top to select your model. Scroll down until you find Nano Banana Pro and select that. Now you might be wondering why we're using this specific model. It's because Nano Banana Pro creates the most realistic facial features and natural skin textures. If you use a generic model here, you'll get that plastic, overly smooth look that will make people instantly think it's AI generated. And when you start building multi-angle views later, those flaws add up and ruin your consistency. For the prompt, I'm going to create a character. Here's what I'll write. Photo of a woman in soft, natural lighting captured during golden hour. She has warm, olive-toned skin with a subtle glow. Her curly black hair is styled in a relaxed, messy bun, with a few natural curls escaping around her face. Her bright green eyes are vivid and expressive, framed by long, dark eyelashes. She has a small, refined nose and full lips, curved into a subtle, confident smile. Her facial structure is soft, yet defined. She's wearing an olive parka layered over a crisp white button-down shirt with the sleeves casually rolled. Small, minimalist gold hoop earrings complete her look. I'll also turn on Auto Enhance to let OpenArt optimize the technical aspects. Then I'll click Create. Looking at the result, this image right here is perfect. Clear facial features, natural expression, and strong character energy. This becomes Kate's foundation image. Now, most people stop right here, and it's a critical mistake. One image, no matter how perfect, isn't enough to train a truly consistent character model. The AI needs to understand what Kate looks like from multiple angles, in different poses, with various expressions. I'm going to take the foundation image and create what I call multi-angle expansion. The goal is to show the same character from different perspectives without changing her core identity. To do this efficiently, keep using the Nano Banana Pro model. Now I'm going to create nine different camera angle prompts for the same character. The key is to focus on camera placement and pose, not character appearance, since we want to maintain the established look while showing her from new angles. So the nine different angles I'm going to create are same character but right side angle, same character but left side angle, same character but back view looking over shoulder, same character but three quarter view from the front, same character but top-down angle, same character but low angle looking up, same character sitting down front view, same character standing full body shot, same character close-up portrait, 
These angle-focused prompts give me the framework to show the character from every perspective without changing her core identity. Each generation takes about 30 seconds to a minute, so this whole process of creating nine angle variations usually takes around 10 minutes total. It's a small time investment that makes a huge difference in the final consistency of your character model. What's happening is that image guidance is locking onto the character's facial structure from the foundation image and recreating her from these new perspectives. The result is a complete visual library showing her from front, side, back, three quarter view, sitting, standing, close up, and full body perspectives, all while maintaining perfect facial consistency. Now I have 10 total images, the original foundation plus nine angle variations. This reference library is exactly what we need to train the character model. This is where everything comes together. We're going to transform our collection of images into a reusable AI model that understands our character's identity at a deeper level. On the left side, click on Character. You'll see options to start with a description, one image, or four plus images. Since we have 10 images, click Start with four plus images. That will give you the best consistency. Now upload all of your images. The system will ask you to name your character, so I'll type Kate here. Then click Create Character. The training process takes about 10 to 15 minutes. What's happening behind the scenes is that OpenArt is analyzing every aspect of Kate's appearance across all the reference images. It's learning her facial structure, proportions, skin tone, hair texture, eye shape, and even subtle details like her natural expression and energy. What comes out of this training is remarkable. You get a dedicated AI model that can generate unlimited images of Kate in any scenario while maintaining perfect visual consistency. This isn't just pattern matching or reference copying. The model actually understands Kate's identity and can create how she would look in situations it's never seen before. Once training completes, the real fun begins. Now we can create compelling content with our character in any scenario we want. Let me show you how this works. With Kate's character model selected, I'll start with a simple scene. In the prompt box, I'll write Kate sipping coffee on a rooftop, wearing a cozy oversized sweater wrapped in a blanket, sunrise light, lens flare, soft focus. There's an important setting here called keep clothes the same. When this is turned on, the AI tries to maintain everything about her appearance from the training images, including her outfit. But when I turn it off, the AI maintains Kate's facial structure, skin tone, eye color, and overall identity. But it allows me to change her clothing and hairstyle based on what I describe in the prompt. This flexibility is crucial for lifestyle content because real people don't wear the same outfit every day. For character weight, I'll keep it between 0.7 and 0.8. If it's too high, your character looks awkward and doesn't move naturally. If it's too low, their face starts changing from one generation to the next. This range is the sweet spot that locks in facial identity while allowing the character to move and express naturally. I'll click Create and let's look at the result. Perfect. Kate looks exactly like herself, same face, same proportions, but now she's in a completely different outfit and setting. The consistency is flawless. Let me generate another scene. Kate, drinking her morning coffee, focused expression, warm afternoon light streaming through windows, urban background blur. And another, Kate walking through a street art district, looking up at a colorful mural, golden hour lighting, candid street photography style. Each image maintains her identity while building a narrative about who she is and how she moves through the world. That's the power of this workflow. What we've built isn't just a collection of images, it's a reusable creative asset. But we can take this even further. One of the coolest things about OpenArt is that you can turn these images into videos. Let me show you how. I'll take one of the images we just generated, this one of Kate sipping coffee on the rooftop. Click on the image and in the top right corner, you'll see an option for image to video. Click that. This opens up a new workflow where we can animate our character. 
For the model, I'm going to select Kling 2.5 because it handles realistic human movement really well. Now in the prompt box, I'll describe the motion I want. I'll write, Kate takes a sip of her coffee, then looks up at the sunrise with a peaceful expression, subtle natural movements, soft morning atmosphere. For the duration, I'll set it to 5 seconds. For quality mode, I'll go with Pro to get the best results. Then I'll click Create. The video generation takes a few minutes, but when it's done, we get a fully animated clip of Kate that maintains perfect consistency with all our other images. She moves naturally, the facial features stay exactly the same, and it looks like real footage. You can do this with any of the images you generate, whether it's Kate walking through the street art district or drinking her morning coffee. You can bring all of these scenes to life with video. This is incredibly powerful for creating social media content, ads, or any kind of visual storytelling where you need your character to actually move and interact with their environment. The best thing about having a trained character model like this is that you can use it over and over again without ever having to worry about consistency issues. You can create hundreds of images across weeks or months, and Kate will always look like herself. That kind of reliability is what separates professional character work from amateur attempts where the character changes with every new generation. This is exactly the approach that successful AI influencers use to build massive followings. They maintain perfect visual consistency across countless different settings, outfits, and scenarios, which builds authentic connections with their audience. So now you know how to create consistent characters using Nano Banana Pro inside OpenArt. You've got the complete workflow from foundation image to trained character model to unlimited content generation. And with OpenArt, you can do all of this without jumping between multiple platforms or subscriptions. Everything flows together in one place. If you want to start creating your own consistent characters using this exact workflow, click the link in the description below to sign up for OpenArt. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.